So it's gonna be one of those videos where I just talk and I don't have anything on. I think this might be one of the first of its kind. Nah. So I asked for suggestions on Instagram of videos to do. Somebody said a q and I got some cues, but not enough cues to make a full video. So I'm also doing the new YouTuber tag. First question from Instagram from Keith. Will you eat my toes? No, I will not eat your toes, Keith. This one is from JS asking, why you dogs look weird? They're goats. So this one is from Lunar Cosplay and we're Ash. What got you into cosplay or who got you into cosplay? The answer is my family kind of and a show called Cosplay Wars, War on Cosplay, something like that. I would watch it with my family and then they were all like, hey, let's go to a convention. You can even cosplay too if you want. And then I went to my first convention. I didn't cosplay because I was like 10. Um, and I thought it was fun looking. So then from there, the rest is history. I slowly started doing it progressively more and more up to this point where I now post every day on my Instagram. Wow, that was shit. <laughs> um, let's see, is there anything else? I did get a question also on TikTok, but I lost. Um, I don't know why I blew up on TikTok so much. I wish I didn't, personally, because I hate TikTok so much. But one day I will probably do a whole video where I just read TikTok comments because I think they're funny sometimes and sometimes they're not and that's what makes them funny. So one day I will have a narrated reading TikTok comment video, probably. Don't hold me to that or do if you really want that. Now for the tag, which is 20 questions. <laughs> the new YouTuber tag is by Liv Ryan for Rylan. For anyone who wanted to know, which is probably no one in my audience. Cool. What is your name and the name of your channel? I'm Kai, and the name of my channel is Barbaric Tea Time, which is the same for everything, because I'm lazy. What does the name of your channel mean? Which is question number two. I should probably be numbering these. Really doesn't mean anything, but if you know what Homestuck is, Barbaric Tea Time is like a pester tag, which, er, chum handle. I read all of Homestuck, why am I stupid? From a chum handle generator that I made three years ago, now, I think. Three years ago! When friends got me into cosplay, I made my first Instagram, which was another chum handle, because the only Instagram I had at the time was an art Instagram, which I'll put here. Um, thing with my art Instagram is it's dead. <laughs> that had been my Instagram since f fourth grade, and so when I needed a new art one, I did my Homestuck thing, and when I needed a new, new, new one, I did the Homestuck thing again. And since that's kind of my brand now, I've kept it as that. I also just think it's funny to imagine a barbarian at a tea party, cause that's funny to me. Three, where are you from? I'm from America, and if you want a more in-depth answer for people who know the geography of America, I am from Arizona. That one's self-explanatory. I hate the desert, it's cause I live in Satan's armpit. Number four, why did you start a YouTube channel? Instagram only has one minute videos and the Instagram TV thing is new and weird and confusing. So um, to make longer videos, including tutorials, skits, and CMVs and stuff, I needed something that would work longer. As for YouTube being good, I'm not sure if it's a good fit because I know they have a lot of problems going on right now. I guess it works for now. And I don't expect anyone to watch this except for like maybe a fifth of my audience so I mean um what will your channel be about so the channel obviously focuses on cosplay stuff and just like skits and CVs and even some con vlogs and stuff but I also want to go into more edity things like longer skits and um tutorials and stuff um 
I hopefully want to document some of my like becoming a big girl cosplayer experience because right now I feel like I'm a baby because I've only been doing it for three years kind of? Six. Who is your target audience? My target audience I guess people who want to know about the things I said in number five because I really don't know if that's a target audience if that counts or if that's a cop-out answer. As for target audience, probably not super young because I curse a lot. I haven't cursed in this video, have I? Number seven, what do you hope to achieve with your channel? Learning how to edit videos better because I fucking suck at them. So I'm hoping if I have a place where people can make fun of me, I'll get better at it. Eight, top three favorite YouTubers. Um, by way of cosplay, I like Nyx Rising a lot. They're the good shit. I like Strange Aeons, if you couldn't tell by my hipster aesthetic and the same exact fucking bob cut, which was done unintentionally. No, I'm stupid. Game Grumps counts. I watch a lot of that. <laughs> Number nine. Who inspired you to start a channel? I now realize I'm going to run out of fingers. Um, Nyx Rising was the one who... Uh, Seeing their cosplay videos, like, be so high production, I guess. Either Strange Aeons for these sit downy videos and making a channel, or this fucking girl, I don't know how to say her name, Joanna Sididia. Yeah, her. Because she's really funny to me for some reason. I don't know why, but she is. 10. If you could collab with anyone right now, who would it be? I don't watch a lot of cosplay YouTubers, I now realize. Like, I did a lot when I was, like, a kid getting into cosplay because they all, like, inspired me to do it more and to post stuff, but I never, like, did YouTube with them and now a lot of them are dead channels. So I don't know if they count. But, like, everyone's obvious thing for that one should be, like, Shane Dawson because everyone wants a Shane Dawson documentary on their life and if you say you don't, you're a filthy liar. I feel like that's a cop-out too, but I feel like I don't really have an answer. I don't have a good answer for that one. Basically, you know what? No. If anyone could be here collabing with me right now, it would be Garrett or Tyler because I'm really boring on my own and I obviously don't know what I'm doing. 11. Three reasons for someone to subscribe to your channel. If you like cosplay stuff, or you like my content, or you find this even minutely boring, subscribe to me because I swear my content's not like this all the time. This is your first video of mine. I am so sorry. What channel on YouTube will your channel most likely be like? I feel like there was a co cosplay YouTuber who I watched when I was in a home stop called Plajink Oceans or something. I'll put it here if I find it ever. And if not, this is gonna look real stupid because I hallucinated it. Them. Because if you remember them and you're a homestuck, first of all, you're an OG. Second of all, kind of low production, but also made my homestuck heart nut. 13. What is your favorite thing about the YouTube community? If you're putting time and effort into being funny or, like, entertaining, then I feel like you'll get an audience of some kind and then they can interact with you and that makes your content better, in my opinion. What do you think you could bring to the YouTube community that is not already there? Um, being a toddler. I don't know. I want to participate in people's like fan bases and stuff. Like, if you are a cosplay YouTube channel, let me know. I'll talk to you because I'm interested in talking to you. But if Lieutenant Corbis didn't already have the like toddler title, it should go to me because I'm four years old. Is Lieutenant Corvus dead? 16. Three things we should know about you. Um, I am a sophomore in high school right now. I sew and I want to sell my sewing on Etsy, but... And three, I'm in a constant state of hunger. And that's not to be like quirky relatable. I'm just really hungry as I filmed that. 17. What do you think the hardest thing will be about becoming a YouTuber. Filming and editing around school. Like right now, 
as I film this, I don't know when it's gonna come out because it's December 8th. And I am dodging final projects to work on this because I don't want to work on my history project, which is stupid and I hate it. I know I'm gonna fail it. Hey, future me editing this. T uh, you should put what I got on Meeting of the Minds project for history right here. 18, what do you think the most rewarding thing will be? Talking to people, hopefully, um, I really got into cosplay as a social thing because most people I feel like who do cosplay and YouTube in general are kind of antisocial or like introverted, like I am. And I want to make friends without leaving my house. I also hope to educate a new generation of cosplayers because I feel like I'm in a weird shift where all of my cosplay friends have been doing it much longer than me. But then there's also like a new group coming in that I can't relate to too because I'm a little more like advanced than them. I feel like I'm in a weird median. So maybe educating baby cosplayers as much as I can because I feel like I'm a little less scary than like the people who've been doing it for five plus years because they always seem so like experienced. Even with my friends sometimes I'm like it's hard to talk to them about like stuff like that seems like it should be obvious but it's not obvious to me like oh how do I do this? How do I do that? So I hope I can make videos that are like explaining obvious things you know? So, number 19. Do you see yourself being on YouTube for a long time? I don't know. Because it's kind of the same answer that I get when somebody asks me, do you think you'll be cosplaying for a long time? The answer is normally, I hope so. Because cosplaying right now for me is, it's very nice. It's a good way to get out creativity. Especially since I haven't gotten the best experience with trying to work with costuming in the past. Like, I've been trying to do costuming and like, a career or social setting for a while and I've never found any success really or like an okay experience sort of thing. I haven't gained any knowledge really, especially in an academic sense. So I don't know if I would do costuming for a living and I know cosplay is a lot of people's like hobbies when they get older but like I don't know. At the moment in my mind I'll probably be doing it until I at least graduate high school but besides that I'm not Sure. I don't know. Number 20. Do you have any tips or advice for others who are just starting a YouTube channel? No. I guess just start it because that's the advice that I've seen a lot of like people regretting that they didn't do it sooner because YouTube has become such an oversaturated platform that a lot of people don't see what you do now because it's so oversaturated. I'm falling down on this couch because it's an old lady couch and I'm dying. So that was... 30 questions? That wasn't 30 questions. That was like 26 questions on whatever this is. I've been Kai and it's nighttime outside so have a good night if it's nighttime where you are and if not have a good something. I hope your day gets better from here. Might you recall we've got a small family bill.